Hello, and once again, welcome back to the Tartarus Key. This time, it's part four, and this time, we've just heard a knock at the front door. Who could it be? Oh? Hello? Hello? No response? Of course, nobody here. I'm getting really sick of being messed with. Hmm, this box wasn't here before, was it? Better show this to everyone. Box? There's a box? Oh, apparently there's a box. Okay. <laughs> Back already? There was a box just sitting by the front door. Figured we should open it together. Alright. Well, what's in the box? I don't suppose you managed to find a way out while I was gone. Not yet. But I haven't given up. We must be missing something. We have to be. Yeah, I hope so. Anyway, you said that box was just sitting by the front door? Open it up. Let's see what this place has for us next. Okay. Is it going to be a key? A Ooh, a revolver. A, a, a gun? Uh, uh, no, don't let him have it! William? What are you- Oh, come on. No. No, no, I didn't save you for this. I told you, I told you. And now they're driving the point home. Only one person can win the game and get out alive. And I- I'm not dying, you hear me? None of us are. And none of us have to. You can't deny fate, no matter how much you might want to. This, this was always going to be the outcome. I, I was foolish to even hope. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I know you have a gun, I just, this has been such a night and you know how dramatic you sound, right, dude? There's no such thing as fate. I know it because we're already beating them at their own stupid game. What? Look, I know what you said, that the rules are only one person makes it out alive. We're here, right now. All of us. Together. We've helped each other to get this far. William, we can do this. I know we can. We owe it to ourselves to try. I won't give up. I'll never give up trying to help people. To help you. Hmm. You're... You're so obnoxiously... Optimistic. I'm so tired, Alex. I'm old. And I'm miserable. I'm not any better than the people who put us here. Why do you care? I... I mean... Yeah? You're kind of a schmuck sometimes, William. But you're not... I don't want you to die. I don't want anyone to die, goddammit! Nobody has to die! I won't let them! Alex... Oh... You make me want to believe in you. As foolish as that is. <laughs> About damn time. Give me that, you enormous asshole. Are we all done making our big impassioned speeches? Did we get it out of our system? Because nobody is shooting anyone. Nobody is giving up. Not after everything we... Alex has done. Ugh, I hate this touchy-feely power of friendship garbage. Now you have me doing it. <laughs> well, that was uh, exciting, says Kai. I'm glad we're all on the side of nobody shooting anyone else. Yeah, me too. But we're still stuck in here. Alex has been everywhere, right? Do we start prying down the walls? What's left? That's a good point. Maybe we can use the... Oh. Oh, alright. Another tremor? Wait, what's that? What's what? The door? Son of a... This is too convenient, right? Oh, absolutely. But is there an alternative? Alright. Everyone on the shortest field trip ever. What, is that... Uh, oh! Oh, we have a new room. I guess the door just unlocked. Alright. Is that an elevator? Everyone, wait here. Alex, you can't go by yourself. Hey, I'm the only one who hasn't been gassed or injected or flesh-walled. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's safe. Well, as safe as you can be in a place like this. Yeah, good point. Alright, just be careful. Once you're sure, come back and get us. Right back. Hmm. Well, he's happy. He's having a drink. I need to keep an eye on things anyway. If you need us, we'll come running. I'll be back soon. Okay. So I'm getting in the elevator. All right. And where's this? The sub-basement entrance. All right. A completely new part of the map. Well, let's see. All right. I, I, don't, I don't suppose I can get out of here, can I? No, I can't go back up yet. I've got to look for a way out first. There's nothing in the elevator? No, alright. 
This way it is then. So, more booze, more paintings, more supplies. Collars! Wow, they had spares for everything, even William's collar. Somehow, I think the idea that his death machine wasn't bespoke would offend him. <laughs> true, true. Okay. Hey, oh, all right. Research and development. <laughs> all right. And what's... What's this, and why is it ticking? It's a toy box. A ticking giant toy box. Not at all menacing. Bloody hell, okay. Oh, there's that binder that I found in the planetarium, right? Okay. Toy swords? Four toy swords? I'll just take these. Okay, I guess that's got something to do with the toy box. Right, okay, so yeah, there's uh, there's there's slits for them to uh, to fit in, I think. What's this on the blackboard? Schematics for some kind of circuit. Okay. Hmm. Alright. We'll get on with that fairly soon. What have we got in here then? Nothing? Uh, is that a bomb? I think it's a bomb. Uh, okay, there's another one. <laughs> oh, hang on. Origami whale. An origami whale. I used to make these when I was younger. Though yellow is a weird choice for a whale. Hmm. Okay. Over here. What about the other filing cabinets? No? The other drawers? Nothing here, really? Nothing at all? Oh, well, alright. An exposed circuit. Looks like only one of these holes is correct. Oh? Oh, I see on the other side. Oh, right. If I'm going to stab that box, what, three or four times? I'm going to have to get this... I'm going to have to get this right. <laughs> oh boy, okay. So that one... Is that the same? Okay, so... That one at the bottom's green. Uh, the one in the, the top left, top right, they're red. So... Yeah, these swords look like I could insert them into the toy box. With my luck, I'd rather not risk it without knowing the mechanics first. Right. Okay, alright. Well, we'll get to that later on. I think I know where to stick one of them, at least. Nothing here? Really? Nothing? Oh, there's a note on the door here. Yeah, locked. But there is a note stuck here. Uh, you were... something? Hang on. What does that say? You were late for the meeting, which means you get to test the puzzle. You know the drill. Solve it or die. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, that... <laughs> Solve it or die. Wow, okay. Uh, we've got some more binders here. Full of complicated schematics and what look like puzzle designs. Thousands of them. It'd be impressive if it weren't so gross, considering what they've been used for. Hmm. I've seen all these puzzles before. I can't believe a tiny team was responsible for making all of them. What kind of person takes a job like this? Making these things, knowing people will die. Oh, sickos, you know. Right. Yeah, I'm guessing the right way to solve this is to insert swords into the correct side. There's got to be clues around here. There are always clues. I don't want to get this wrong, especially with the ticking. Okay, now it seems I've, I've got a choice. It seems like this one... This one's going to be the, the bottom slot? Okay. Presumably it's one per side. That's the unicorn, isn't it? So it's the top right? Uh, yeah. Let's say if it's the top right and not the top left. It's not like, span around. I'm not dead! I'm not dead! Okay, what else have we got? There's a whale? And a bird, a hawk or something maybe. That yellow whale. Right. Um, sure. It looks like the front of the whale's cut off, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't have a, a fit. Oh, God, I don't know. I'm not going to do that one. Um, right. Is that it? That's that's it. It's got to be that. So that's the bottom left one, is it? Fuck. Okay. Do I just stab it through the middle? I don't know. Oh shit. Can I not get a better look at this? I 
Mm. One of these two, I think. I don't know. If it, I don't think it's the one at the top. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Ugh, clowns! Why did it have to be clowns? Is it holding a note? Let's see if I can take it without touching it. Ugh. Alright, the clown note. The last thing I want is a note from a clown. Okay. Hey, good job on not dying. Head over and tell us what you thought of the puzzle. You know how to unlock the door. Oh. Oh. Alright. Over here? Let's see. Ah! If I've got this right, the door key should be hidden around here. There you go. And that unlocks the door. Wow, a book switch! It was like you only see those in movies. And creepy death mansions, apparently. Okay, so where are we now? Huh, alright. This is a big, big floor. There's still quite a lot of the game to go by the looks of it. Alright. Okay. What? Okay, wh one thing at a time. What have we got here? Can't read the sign. Uh, this door's different. Extra secure looking. According to the sign, it's the control room. I need an access key to get in. Okay, so we're looking for an access key. Hmm. This one is the subject room. I'm guessing they're records of participants. Not getting in without an access key. Right, we need that access key, don't we? This one over here. Looks like a standard boardroom. And there's another door in the back. It doesn't matter. We can't get in without an access key. Right, where is this access key? There's the door in the back. I can see it. What the fuck? And what's that? Is that outside? I don't know if that's outside. Is this like in a cavern or something? An exit! This place looks safe. I should go get the others. Should you? I. Mm. Oh, okay. I guess you should. I'm not so sure, but. Okay. <laughs> Interesting group of people. Alright. What do they think? Torres, thoughts? This is different. But that's definitely an exit. The last thing in our way. It's shut tight, though. There's some kind of emergency lockdown. You've got a plan? I think I can override it from one of the admin computers. I saw a sign for a control room down the hallway. With some luck, I'll have us out in no time. Alright. Yeah, you do that. Keep me updated. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Hey, Alex, can I talk to you for a moment? Sure, what's up? I just wanted to check in with you. You're, well, you're doing a lot for all of us. Oh, well, honestly, I really don't mind. I mean, obviously, I'd prefer not to be trapped in the evil death house. But, uh, how do I put this without sounding... I guess, well, I've always felt really lucky. People have always taken care of me. My mom, my dad, and my grandma, after they died. I'm sorry, Alex. Oh, it's... I mean, it's not okay, but it was a long time ago. Car accident. It hurts when I poke at it, but I've made my peace with it, you know? Um, but... but... I've always had people around me who helped. Even when they didn't have to. Friends, professors, that cute barista who always gives me a free cake pop when I get coffee. It's just nice to be able to take care of others, finally. It feels good, you know? That's an admirable attitude to have, if it doesn't get you taken advantage of. Well, I guess I'd rather still be the person who helps if it's needed. Especially in a place like this. Designed to make you feel powerless, small, alone. Even more than escaping. If I could make sure nobody else ever has to feel this way, to me, it's worth all of it, you know? Alex. Oh wow, that was a... Uh, a lot, huh? Sorry. Uh, I've just been thinking. Uh, anyway, really. I don't mind. I'm happy to do this for you. All of you. Even William? Even him. Wow. <laughs> but I have a lot of literature to send him, and he better read it. <laughs> Trust me, that's one old dog that's going to learn some new tricks. Just be careful, okay? You matter too, Alex. I will. I promise. 
Plus, I have a feeling like the end is in sight. It'll all be over soon. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Don't know where that came from, but now I've got an admin keycard. Hopefully that's going to get me through all those doors. Right. Okay. What on earth is that? Hmm. Seems like we can't let ourselves out. Not quite yet. Wow. Honestly, wow. This place is so much bigger than I first thought. Oh, here we go. We got some we got some toilets here. We got the bathroom here. Okay. Oh, can we not go in? Oh, such a shame. Nothing over here? No. Can't open the cupboards or the drawers. Can't do much of anything, really. What about next door? Okay. Just adding that to the map. Okay. Oh, hang on. This one over here? Someone scratched something into the wall of this stall. Watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me. Hmm. It just goes on like that. My skin's crawling. Man. Right. Okay, so, uh, let's go test out this access card, shall we? Let's try this one. Hey, okay, it works. So, yeah, this is the meeting room. Looks like there was a group of, like, five or six around the table, maybe? A schedule? Looks like a schedule, but all the information is very deliberately greeked. There are a bunch of doodles on the back of it. They look like eyes? Hmm. Okay. Water bottles? The bottles are real glass, and the name's French. That's how you know this water's really expensive. Arsehole water, in other words. <laughs> okay. Can't have a look at those two. Right, this other door. Director's room. There have to be answers in here. But the access key isn't doing the trick here. Ah, must be another way to open this door. Right, well, it's probably a puzzle, right? Hmm. Maybe not here, though, because I don't have a question mark on the room. There's two others to have a look at, so I'll come back later. Let's see. What was this, the subject room or something? Yeah, the subject room. Okay. Hmm. Again, the mansion is, is shifting. Another one of these tremors. An email. Okay. From uh, a B. Armitage to A. Johnson. We've got big problems. Look, bro. I'm not going to argue about this with you anymore. I'm not telling them their fancy fucking set designer tripped down the stairs and broke his neck right before showtime. They'll call off the whole thing this cycle. And they're not just going to pat us on the heads and say, It's okay. We'll try again in five years. Do I have to remind you what happened to Jones? How you got promoted? And for what? Because of some broody graffiti in a room none of them will even see? Look, I checked the notes, and the only thing left is that obnoxious floor painting down below. That's it. And you and I both know nobody else goes down there other than the ritual artisan. It's just more ego-stroking bullshit. We have the project notes, right? Just send Reed down there and have him paint it up after he drops off the last player. Tell him we'll pay him extra. He's a greedy meathead. He won't ask questions. Then after the event, we can tell them what happened and they won't even care because they'll have time to train up someone new for the next event. For now, just keep your mouth shut. Ooh, okay. Got some trouble down here by the looks of it. Okay, another email from Director A. Johnson to a few people, actually. I've been hearing that some of you have concerns about structural stability following some of those annoying tremors we've been experiencing. Let me put those concerns to rest by reminding you how impenetrable this manor is. A tank couldn't bring it down, much less some little quakes that don't even register on the Richter scale in town. This place has stood for over a hundred years, and I dare say it'll be here long after we're all dead. Hmm. Doesn't bind us here as well. They look like product inventory. No, wait, it says products, and all the information's heavily redacted, but... It... Are these logs of the people who have been through this before us? There's so many. So many who have died. I, I don't have time for this. On that email, it was like, what, every five years this happens? Why? Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm getting a sort of Cabin in the Woods vibe. Anyone else? Oh man, I would kill for a cup of coffee. Even if it's stone cold and has been sitting there for who knows how long. No, steady, Alex. You're better than that. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so much information here, but it feels like I'm, I'm only scratching the surface. 
Nothing here? No? What about this one? The, what, was it a control room or something? A control room, right, yes. Here, we have a puzzle, right. Maybe this is how we open that door back there and, well, presumably the door over there too. Okay, this is a computer table. This looks promising. A computer this large has to have access to the exits, which would be handy if it would turn on. It refuses to boot without the correct server connections. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, let's go around the other side so I can read this email. Okay. Player emergency. There is no player for the ground floor west wing section. The player that was supposed to be there was that genetic scientist they caught leaking info on that online forum. He's gone. Gone, gone, dead. Reed was vague, but apparently he knew he was being followed, that he was going to be next, and there was an accident. God damn, Reed. We cannot have an empty play area. So Reed was just told to grab the first person he found. This is just so sloppy. We spent all that time designing that room for that specific schmuck, and now we have a random schmuck. It's just sloppy. We gathered what intel we could on this Kai person, so I'm attaching that here. Do what you can, but if you can't come up with any new props or puzzles to tie it all together, well, blame Reed. This year's game has completely gone to hell. First we had to shoehorn in that fancy bastard just because he pissed someone off. Now this? I've put in so many late hours trying to fix this. I think it's messing with my head. I keep having these weird dreams, seeing things out of the corner of my eye. All the stupid ghost stories they tell you to justify their little egotistic production here must be finally getting to me. I need a vacation. Bloody hell, you need to be in prison. That's what you need. It's a data port. I think I could connect different servers together if I had the right cables. There must be some around here. Right. That's one as well. Okay. Right, yeah, various ports. Over here too. Oh man, look at this stuff. It's all top-of-the-line hardware. What I wouldn't give for the time to dig around in the guts of these. Yeah, who knows what you're going to find. What does this say? Current known issues. Rewire lab. Plumbing needs replacing. Floor one. Subject team layoffs. Fire alarm issue. Okay. Alright. No, it's not an email this time. Wait, that diagram's this, isn't it? Okay, I think, very specifically, we need to be concerned with the cross. And then these two? The orange and the green one? So that the pink, the orange, and the green. Alright. Oh, hang on. Cables. Heavy-duty cables. Yeah, these must have been used on the surface. I'll take them with me, just in case. Alright. Over here? Doesn't seem like anything's powered on, unfortunately, so no more emails to read. Uh, over here. Uh, oh, actually, there might be one. Yep. From someone to the director. Founder's goals. You've been told before, it's not your job to question things. Whatever fantastical mumbo-jumbo you might have heard third-hand from some of the older members about the impetus of our great organization, it's always been about entertaining the rich and powerful. They call themselves the Tartarus Society, for crying out loud. What part of that says discerning and well-adjusted to you? When we hired you, we gave you the most advanced technology and resources money could buy to craft that entertainment. And when I get long emails about you from you babbling about demons and dreams and shadows in the stage we built, I'm not entertained. Take this as your sign to course correct. The board appreciates your work and your discretion thus far. The game is starting soon. Do not disappoint us. I'd so hate for us to have to find another director. Wow, okay. A lot of threats going around, it seems. Over here? Mm, not much. Uh, not much at all. Honestly, with all the boxes, all this stuff, it's, it's more of a storage room than anything else at the moment, isn't it? Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm not seeing the right symbols. So, does it have to be pink? Maybe it has to be pink, I don't know. Uh, right. Um... It's a data port. 
Luckily, I have just the cable for the job. I should be able to connect together different servers. Right. Okay. Oh, I see. So, over there. Right. Uh, oh, and that copies the symbol. Aha! Uh -huh, right. Ah, and it's actually sort of mixing the colors together as well. I but right. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um. So I probably yeah I, I probably do want that one. That's it. That's it. That's the first one, isn't it? It's a pink cross. Okay. Uh, the second one. Uh, yeah, it's that one over there. So it's it's some sort of yeah it's an orange circle with a horizontal line through it. So. Right. Is this the second one or the third? Does it matter? I don't actually know. I'll put that one there. Um, and then that can go there. Yes, yes. And then I suppose that has to go there. And that has to go there. Yeah? Something's happening. It seems to be working. There you go. Right, I think that did it. I've reset the server connections. I should be able to access the central computer. And look at all those cameras. Right. Wow, okay. I'll have a look at that in a sec. Every single one of the rooms, the corridors, we were always being watched. Okay, right. So, is this up and running now? Oh, wow. Very fancy. I did it! Now, where's the exit? Damn. There's a reference to an exit lock, but it's in the director's room. Luckily, I can unlock the door. Just one more stop. I'm so close! Hang in there, guys. I'm getting you out, I promise. Okay, so did you, did you do that? It is a big place, isn't it? Wow, alright. Well, let's go and check, shall we? Let's go back to this meeting area, this meeting room. Ah, yeah, the door's ajar. Okay. Wow. This is the, dire the director's office. And, uh, here's his store of booze. And these are mostly empty. Someone's hitting the bottle a little heavy. Good. I hope wherever they are, they choke on it. <laughs> At this point, definitely. Alright, no name there, although I think we could probably figure out the name from the emails. The drawers? No? We can't sit down? Can we do anything here? <laughs> we should be able to do something, surely? There should be some sort of exit lock, right? Uh, books? These are all books on theatre and design. Stuff about symbolism and art, too. They look well worn. Were these used as research on set design? Well, I guess so, considering what we've been through. The TV remote. This must turn on that big TV. There's a big TV. There's a big TV! <laughs> turn it on. Okay, let's see if this remote works. Okay, it's a blueprint page. A cross-section view of somewhere in the mansion. Where is that? There's stairs? Arrows? Why is it here? Okay. Yeah, where is that? Alright, next slide. Oh, an abstract painting? Very different from the rest of the decor. The pattern looks familiar? There's another one? The Vitruvian Man. Uh, wait, no, that's not... No, not quite. No. Next? Looks like it cycles now. Okay, so there's three slides to go through. There's got to be a clue there. Right. That's not the elevator, is it? No, that's a staircase up to a door. Um. Hmm. It wouldn't be one of those, I don't think. Or. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not really sure at all. And then that? Did I say it looked familiar? Something like that? And that's the not-quite-Vitruvian man. Right, there's something going on in this room, isn't there? 
There's no painting of the Vitruvian Man or anything, is there? I don't think so. Here? Hang on, hang on. Ah, I like the picture. This must be it. Is it? Ah, it's a hidden control panel. Let's see here. I think that's unlocked something important. Main gate access point. Digital override available. Are we... Are we actually getting out of here? I should check back with Torres. Okay. Yeah, better not touch it anymore. Don't want to accidentally lock myself in. Again. Okay. So, right, that's what that second one was referencing. Not so sure about that or that. That's somewhere... I think that's somewhere upstairs, honestly. Well, it's got to be somewhere upstairs. It's not down here. I haven't seen anything quite like that down here. But right. Have we unlocked the exit? Well, I don't know. Let's go see Torres. Good news? Yeah. I've managed to get it open. <laughs> What's he doing slinking around the corner? Are you saying we can leave? Yeah, that's right. Everything okay? Just a nagging feeling. Probably nothing. It's been a long night. Yes, it has. One we've only managed to get through thanks to you. Which is why I'm asking you if you're ready to leave. Am I really ready to leave? Well, no, because I don't think I've figured everything out yet. I'm... I'm sorry, but no. Excuse me? This doesn't feel off to you? Us just waltzing out without answers? On the contrary. I'll do the electric slide out those damn doors as soon as you get to move on. We can't just leave. There are so many things unanswered. Oh, hello. I <laughs> didn't see you there. I confess, I agree. The universe has enough mysteries without us leaving this one unsolved. Could you really live with yourself if you left without bringing this to light? Did all of you collectively hit your stupid heroic heads while I wasn't looking? Good God, this isn't some grand conspiracy or, uh, another one. Yeah, says one of the rich dicks who put us here. Good point. I beg your pardon, but I had nothing to do with your current predicament. I would have been very grateful not to have met any of you. N no offense. Yeah. Yeah, well, all I know is, without Alex, I'd still be down there. Alone. In the dark. I don't want to think about that happening to anyone else. Alex, for someone I just met, you've earned a lot of my trust. If you think we should stay, I trust your judgement. Agreed. Okay. Oh, wow. wow. That was unexpectedly emotionally heavy. Look, that means a lot, but I'm going on alone. What? You most certainly are not, young lady. I'm not risking everyone's lives based on a gut feeling. If you don't hear from me in the next hour, I want you to go. Alex, please, at least let me help you. I, I need to feel as if I've done something to help to repay you. I didn't save you so you could owe me, Charles. Just look after each other, okay? I'll be back soon. You will come back. I've never met a tougher person. We'll see you real soon, Alex. <sighs> if you change your mind, we'll be here. Stay safe. Right. Oh, it seems like it's fairly dark outside. So, yeah. There's this Vitruvian man, and then there's this staircase, or something near a staircase, which I can't quite identify. I'm not seeing a Vitruvian man here. Oh, look at this symbol. Wow. All right, okay, I can examine this. This thing is really creepy. You should be questioning your life choices. Right about the time you're commissioning a logo for your evil empire. <laughs> Even here, we're being watched. Hmm. This is so strange. Okay, let me just go through this again. There's no Vitruvian man, there's no... There's no circles. It's not here, is it? I mean... Can I see anything? It's hard to pick out the details, honestly, when it's this pixelated. It's it's a bit too tough. 
I'm... <laughs> Maybe I should just leave. Maybe I should just get out of here. Let's once again have a look at the director's office. Let's just get these clues down. Right, so... There's nine... Right, okay. Oh, uh, that... Do you think those might be the barrels in that area by the elevator? We never actually really got to have a look at that, but right. That I'm not so sure about, but that... That might make sense. Let's see if we can go back up. So... Right, yeah. I mean, who knows? There might be someone else to save. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to get out of here, leaving someone behind. Wait, what? <laughs> um, did I just get turned around? Yeah, you did. Let's try that again. Can I not leave? Can I not get out of here? Oh. Right, I, I don't honestly know where I stand in this place. Okay, alright, I can do this. So I think this is the idea. We are meant to be doing this. Right, here we are. Oh, there's only five though. Oh no, here, here we go. Yeah, four at the top, five at the bottom. And it was like... This one? These barrels kind of resemble the director's diagram from the office. There are no coincidences in this place. I'm opening it. Alright. Ah, it's a secret passage. I'm not surprised, but phew. That air smells so stale. Guess I should crawl through? Alright. If you think so. We're in a hidden crypt. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my, okay. What have we got here, then? Oh god, look at these dials. Oh no. There's another one over here. Oh, there's another two sets, actually. Wait, I can, I can pick this up? It's a statue of death. Okay. I found it sitting on the left pedestal. Hmm, alright. Yeah, I can rotate these ones as well. Alright. Another statue? This time it's an angel. It's sitting on the opposite side to the death statue. A crypt? Angels and demons? I'd say these people take their self-important garbage theming too far, but... This place feels older, somehow. Yeah. Much older. Much. Much. Older. There's a mummy up there. I swear, if one of these things starts moving, I'm gonna lose it. And not in a way anyone will like. Please be fake, please be fake, please be fake. Right, at this point, we know they're not fake, right? There's another one in the coffin. This looks ancient. I can barely make out the inscription on the lid. Service in suffering, reward in death. Man, I hate these people. <laughs> okay. Another one? A gargoyle. A loose statue like the others. Must have been sitting on the middle pedestal at one point. Well, I've been picking up weird crap all night. Why stop now? <laughs> okay. So do I have to put it back? Hmm. Is there a fourth? I'm only seeing the three pedestals, so... I don't think so. Well, actually, there's, there's one here. Right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Did that change anything? Would it be like a statue for... You know, uh, one set of these? Not really sure, honestly. Ins oh, hang on. There's an inscription. I can barely see it, but... Were these symbols always here? I don't know. I don't know. I never really paid it much attention, but maybe I should have. I can see it from the other side. I think there's definitely no inscription on that side. No, we can't jump up there. We can't move this to the side. We can't see who's... Uh, Who's entombed? It's just another mummy. And yeah, I swear, if one of these things start moving. Hmm. Right, maybe it's not the gargoyle, maybe it's the angel? Does that change anything? Doesn't seem like it, does it? Oh, it does, though, it does! Right, okay, now that makes a bit more sense. Now I can actually see the symbols. So, was that top, middle, and bottom? 
but which one? Uh, right. So, if I put the death statue down, we've got another set of symbols as well. Okay. Um, okay, so I found the angel on the right pedestal. Yeah, okay, so if I put the angel there, would that be the, the symbols for this? Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Okay. And then the death one I found on the left pedestal. Right. So... Something like that. What was the last one? Like a crescent moon. That one? It's not angled correctly, but I, I think that might be it. So I guess the gargoyle is the middle one, but we can't we can't see that. It's been scratched off, but I I guess it's going to be a different symbols. I haven't used that one before. I don't think we've used that one either. Oh, yes, yes, trial and error. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Shall we? I mean, why not, right? When in Rome? When in the Death Mansion? The sealed crypt. Feels like I'm the first one down here in a long, long time. Another mummy? What's this? Some sort of mechanism. Another puzzle? Uh, it looks like I can insert something. A handle, maybe? A handle. Okay. Right. Right. I, I don't really think we're um, we're writing this down. We're not putting this on the map. We're going very off map here. Can I squeeze round here? I think I can actually. Okay. Oh, handle. Oh, oh, there's a handle here. Is this the handle for that wall mechanism? Sorry, bud. I'm gonna have to take this. Sorry, bud. I don't think there's anyone else in there, so don't worry. Okay. Well, let's put the handle on this mechanism and see what happens. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay! There's so many secrets to this place! The well? Oh, wow. Welcome to the well. Yeah, don't lean too far forward. I've kept you alive thus far. Let's keep it that way. Well, <laughs> that's a lot of stairs. No going back now. I have to see this through. Okay. Should we go up? I, oh, it doesn't look like we can, but maybe at one point we could and... Maybe this used to be a way out of here. Right, down it is then. My oh my! So, there's multiple endings in this game. I assume this is going to lead to a better one than us just, you know, leaving preemptively. Alright. Here we are. We're at the bottom. Yeah, that's the sky up there. Maybe, maybe that can be our way out. And look at this. Maybe this is like an elevator. It would sort of spin as it goes up. I don't know. Right. Looks like we've got some more stuff down here. What's going on? What the... Oh. Is this where the tremors are coming from? Okay. Uh, yeah? Okay. I'm just going to take this sigil, this stone tablet. Let's have a look. It's an L shape made of two strokes. Nothing on the back. Looks like there's another one here. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just swapping them around, am I? This one looks like a one. Right. And what's this? A cave stone pedestal. Okay. This looks decidedly less high-tech than the stuff in the mansion. So, how do I... Torres would probably say that was done with lights or lasers, but the air in this place feels strange. Heavy. Charged. What do I do? 
I don't know. <laughs> Can you swim? Apparently you can't swim, so we're not going over there. Right. Wait. I, I, I just moved that with my mind. Oh, my head. Feels like something's digging around in my skull. Okay. That one as well. So we can move every single one of these. I don't see the magic ring here. Apparently it is here though. It's like the box earlier, it was kind of invisible. Unless, oh hang on, wait, 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 wait. Ah. Ah, okay. No, hang on, have it like, uh... oh. The pedestal is lighting up. I should try getting all three shards to glow. All right. Ah, yeah, so I've made the connection. I get you, I get you. Okay, so if it was that way, maybe. Um, and then... There we are. Okay. It's not going to work quite like this, though, is it? I'm going to have to rearrange things. Which is why we can move the sigils around. There's... Right, there's one here. Is that for, for that ring? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, and then there's one around here, another one hidden back there. Yeah, okay, we don't need a three there, do we? We probably need a three here, I would say. And that way it can go in both directions at once, potentially. Okay, so we can approach this from the left, the right, and the middle. Preferably we want to do that all at once, though, don't we? Somehow. Yeah, okay. I uh, might need to rearrange a few things, but I can sort this out. I can definitely sort this out. Oh, did I sort it out? I, th I think I must have. Right, brilliant, okay. And that raises a platform over to that strange little building there. I don't know if it's smart to keep going deeper into this place, but I'm so close. I can feel it. All right. Okay, so yeah, we got the uh, the three lasers hitting it all at once. Uh, if you're using this as a walkthrough, yeah, this is this is the arrangement that I went with. There's probably a few solutions, but yeah, okay. Oh, another tremor. Oh dear. Oh dear. What's that back there? What is this place? Okay. All right. Who's this? Is this the director? Or... Someone covered in blood? Hi. I guess I'm meant to rescue you as well. Oh, my head and guts feel like they're being churned. What is this place? And hey, who the hell are you? Hey, hey you! What the hell's going on here, man? Were you in on this? The hell did you do to me? This ain't what we agreed on. Ugh, if I could just move! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What happened to you? Don't act dumb with me! This is supposed to be part of your little show, you perverts! Well, I ain't playing. What did you do to me? Was it something in the paint? What is this? Oh, is this Reed? Is it Reed? Just hold on, okay? I'll figure this out and I'll... I'll... You... You... I know you. You were... You were in my room! Oh my god, you're the one who brought me here! Stop flapping your lips and get me the fuck out of here, or I'll... I'll... You really can't move, can you? Is this how you wanted us to feel? Powerless? Helpless? H hey, look, this was... It's nothing personal, okay? It's just a job. You... You get it, right? Come on, help me out of here. I can't... I can't move a muscle! Help me, you bitch! Hmm. He didn't say please. Oh god, what's this? The atmosphere in this place is so oppressive. Like when I met Charles and saw that thing on the flesh wall. What is that? It's so beautiful. Feels like I got a... What are you doing? Hey, lady, please. I'm begging you. What? What's that? In my head. Sounds like... Like... 
Please don't leave me alone here with it! Oh, I don't know if touching it's the best idea. You oh! Or you're gonna end up like Charles! Oh, okay. Guess that couldn't be helps. Ugh, what was that? It was like my body was moving on its own. Ugh, my stomach feels like it's turned inside out. Oh, fuck! Ho 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 ho! I'm on the other side! I'm in the reflection now, right? Where, where am I? What the hell's going on? I'm on the other side of the, the, the bathroom mirror! This is at the beginning! My head, it feels so fuzzy. Is this real? That's the it reveals thing, isn't it? Oh, this is fucked up. This is brilliant! Yeah. Okay, that, that needs to move, doesn't it? This painting. There was a hole behind it. Right. Whoa, I barely touched it. Didn't this happen? It did. And it's happened on that side as well. D did I do that? In that case, the next thing is... Well, the axe, right? I've... I've been here before. Am I... Was I my own reflection? Right. I remember feeling so helpless. Torres was trapped, dying, and I... I was only able to help her because of... Because of the axe. We need to find an axe. The axe. The axe from the mirror. I need to chuck it through. Oh, wait. How do I have this? My head's all fuzzy. Is this what happened? Did I help myself? Ugh, nothing in this place makes sense. Why should it start now? Okay, get ready, me. One axe-based deusex machina coming up. <laughs> oh? Wait. Y you know, when I get out of here, my therapist and I are going to have a lot of stuff to unpack. Yes, you are. Oh, this is the room from from last time, right? Oh, hang on. Oh, hello? You. Who is this? Do you know what's happening? No response. Hmm. Yeah, this is Ruth's room, isn't it? I found myself through the wall. Yet yeah, this wall. There was a giant hole which the bookcase was covering. Should I make it? How would I even do that? So that wasn't like a clone of me. It wasn't a copy. That was actually me. Sort of a me from the future. Yeah, how would I do that? Right. I can't borrow one of these arms. It's nothing to do with this. Bone saw? I need one of these for the wall. Right, so I'm gonna cut my way through? Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it myself. Oh man, I didn't see this coming! This is a, this is a pretty cool twist, actually. There's so much about this game that I like. This is great. But I'm... Okay, this this bit I'm not going to like because I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah, this is where I met Ruth, but... But I was slumped dead in the corner. There was a body here. A, a body that looked like... This is how I found part of the antidote. But there's no sign of that now. Am I supposed to... Help myself again? Set the stage? Right. Uh, shouldn't I make an antidote with the Tau substance in it? Uh, whatever. I think this is how it... I... looked when I found... myself. God, this is so... messed up. And I... I'm... You're what? So tired. Oh. I wasn't dead after all. I was just sleeping. Oh! I was in the tank?! I was in the tank?! That that broken vat on the right side? Nah! Damn it! Stop jerking me around like this! Where the hell am I now? You're in Kai's room. And there's a, a, a giant version of Kai by the looks of it. Right. Yeah, this is... I was in this one. So, was it my blood that I found on the floor? Wait. Okay, so it was me that broke the door down? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you the one behind everything? I almost drowned! 
all your pain, all your anger, all your despair. You are worthy. Worthy? Of what? You. I, I'm not afraid of you. After everything you've done, I'll show you what I'm worthy of. Bloody hell. Right. So at this point, the, the door is still boarded up, isn't it? This place. This is the other side of the door that was boarded up. To find Kai, I need to create a path for myself. Okay, one, two... What? And now I'm back here again? Well, I, I guess I've helped my previous self out. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, tell me what's going on. Tell me... Tell me what the point of all this is. Hey, I'm talking to you, damn it! If you want my help... This one is beyond help. What? This one is undeserving. A mistake wrought by a careless hand, leaving a way forward, a crack, a moat in the eye of the universe for you to slip through. Th that voice? We have spoken before, yet never so clearly. Close enough to touch. It has been eons since I could parlay with one of your kind. Longer still since one was worthy. Oh, you keep saying that. Who are you? What is this? Why am I worthy? Hey! What's happening? Oh, we're getting very sort of cosmic horror here, aren't we? Where am I now? I don't know, but I'm loving it. All right. Holy moly. Okay. Wait, is this... This is kind of what I saw through the exit door, wasn't it? Oh, something similar, anyway. There was like a staircase, it looked like. Or a... I don't know, a pyramid or a plinth? Wow. All right. Up here. Oh god. Holy shit. N no. You're not real. This can't be real. Few have ever come so far as to behold our divine countenance. Fewer still would ever dare. But I have fed well over these many years. So what? The society is feeding this demon every five years? Oh, my, my head. What's... All I needed to regain my strength, supping on the tender fruits of your kind. All in exchange for your petty, fleeting conception of power. Just... just sh shut up! I can't think! God! Yes, we have been called that. So many names, by so many throats. Writhing in feverous love and devotion. Stronger with each gasping, desperate praise. Until the betrayal by one of your kind, the fearful worm who twisted our rituals and left us caged below. Oh boy. Half in, half out. The gate but a crack when it should be a gape. But watching. Always watching. And feeding. Y you uh, f feed on... Drop by drop, the elixir of your suffering upon our many tongues, sustaining us, strengthening us. You fear because you are weak. You suffer because you are weak. You could have fled, yet you came to us to complete the ritual, and I'm regretting it. <laughs> this is your purpose. You are our key. The Tartarus Key. Hence the name. N no, that's not true. Everything I've gone through, my whole life, it, it, it can't be. Oh, my body's it feels like it's on fire. You always struggle. Worms twisting through the carcass of the cosmos. 
but we shall give you greater purpose. And part of our great being as we scorch this plain with the glory of our rule. N no! No! She means it. The gate is open. The time has come. Accept your place in eternity. Shut up! My whole life! The things I've done and experienced! The people who've helped and loved me! My family, my friends, Torres and everyone else! It doesn't matter what I've accomplished. My life is worth something. My life is worth everything. And I'll give it all to make sure you can never, ever do this to anyone ever again. You need me to keep the gate open. But I'm a worm, huh? Well, I hope you choke on me. Oh? Oh! Alex spearing the demon! <laughs> okay. Oh boy, that can't be good. Torres. She's not coming back. You, you don't know that. Just, just give her a little longer. It's been hours, damn it. She's not responding to the radio. That tremor just a few minutes ago was the biggest one so far. She might have... Look, we've been all over this damn place calling for her. She's gone. Surprise, surprise. Look who's ready to save his own hide. Now, you listen to me, you... Mm. Please, everyone. We can't turn on each other. Is she really gone? Probably, right? I... I... Look... I want her to be alright too. But if we can't find her, and if she's not responding, then... then... He's right. Torres! Alex promised she'd be back, and if she hasn't, then... But... She said it herself. The best thing we could do would be to bring help. So... we'll go. And we'll bring help. It's the only thing we could do. Let's get moving, everyone. We can't do anything else here. Man. So, she sacrificed herself for the rest of the group? And, and hopefully stop this ritual happening every five years, right? But... Is that it? Is that a good ending? Is that a better ending than us just leaving? I... in a way... Okay. Following the events at the mansion, Torres found herself very busy indeed, tracking down and apprehending everyone she possibly could who had a connection to the society, whether the authorities wanted her help or not. She felt a renewed sense of purpose and fire, and, oddly, a new appreciation for life. She had learned, after all, how unexpectedly fleeting it could be, and tried to slow down and enjoy it more when she could. Sometimes. A little. <laughs> Torres spent the rest of her life in the pursuit of bringing to justice those who abused their power and resources, including, eventually, the corrupt officers who had been responsible for her leaving the force all those years ago. Though she had many offers to join other agencies over the years, she would always turn them down. In her own words, I already lost the best partner I could ever hope for. How could anyone else possibly ever measure up? Oh, that's a shame in a way, isn't it? We got Charles next. All the people I saved. While the public would never truly believe the wilder elements of the events recounted at the mansion, Charles didn't care. For him, it was a validation of everything he had spent his life chasing, and between that and an intense desire to make the most of the time Alex's sacrifice had granted him, he threw himself into his work and studies with a renewed sense of purpose. He would eventually become one of the world's most respected scholars on folklore and the occult, even getting a few cameos in some of his favourite horror movie series. Much to his delight. <laughs> Charles's experiences in the mansion had also left him keenly aware of how much people had to offer one another, and how fleeting his time really was. Though it was often an awkward halting process, he spent the rest of his days determined to reach out to others as best he could, and was remembered by those who knew him best as an eccentric soul who only truly wanted two things, to be known and to be of help. Okay. Alright, that sounds pretty good. Ah, William. What happened to you? Following the events at the mansion, the next several years of William's life were thrown into upheaval. His connection to the society meant he came under intense scrutiny as he reluctantly shared what he knew. 
only to discover he had no way to actually prove anything, and all those he implicated had rock solid alibis, including his so called former friends, who used their connections and influence to effectively financially ruin him. It left him paranoid, mistrustful, and very, very bitter. For the first time in his life, William found himself undergoing what was for him some very unpleasant self reflection. It would be unreasonable to say he ever had a complete change of heart and became a good person, but over time, with some awkward attempts at learning, one might say he was on the way to being a better one. Oh, huh. okay, well that's, that's good, it's somewhat positive. Ruth next, okay. Alright. While the media was reacting to the shock of finding out about a secret society, Ruth was focused on one thing, rolling up her sleeves and getting back to work. With the help of Torres and, surprisingly, William, Ruth was able to keep her clinic work out of the public eye. To the frustration of the press, any interview she deigned to take focused on only one thing, the people who needed better help than a system that was failing them. But if the media was bored by her words, the public was inspired by them, and Ruth's passion quickly spread like wildfire as more and more people took action to fight for change. All Ruth cared about was that she had her family and friends, a warm cat, and a cold beer to come back to at the end of the day. Though she was still haunted by what she had experienced at the mansion, Ruth finally realized what so many whose lives she had touched had always known, that what she did mattered, and had made a profound difference, regardless of what anyone might have tried to tell her otherwise. Right. Is it Kai next? Ah, uh, yep. Prior to the events at the mansion, Kai had felt as if they were struggling to figure out where their passion truly lay in life. Afterwards, however, Kai was unable to stop thinking about the things they had seen, the people they had met and lost, and their own place in events. For the first time in their life, Kai felt a powerful motivation to be someone who can touch the lives of others, even in some small way. To be someone who helped, rather than someone who hurt. Kai felt strongly that people should be able to enjoy their lives without needing the power and influence to justify it. After college, Kai's architecture career was marked by a focus in public libraries, parks, theatres, any place people might find a little joy and experience. For most of their life, Kai would describe himself as nobody important. The places they conceived and built that would stand to enrich the lives of others for decades to come would say otherwise. I think that's everyone, isn't it? Oh, that, well, that's it. That was the Tartarus Key. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, okay? Unless there's a post credit sequence, I don't think Alex is coming back. But by the sounds of it, she made a very worthy sacrifice. She ended this five-year ritual to feed this strange cosmic horror demon thing, and well, it seems like everyone else's lives were enriched because of her and her sacrifice. So I don't know if this is a, you know, like the true ending, the best ending, but it seems like a good ending, at least to me. It's a good way to wrap the story up. What a game. What a game. I really, really like the story, the mystery, the intrigue. I, I liked that it scratched that escape room itch. I like the characters and I like the dialogue, the interactions between them, and I like the fact that there were so many different fail states. I'm curious as to what this game might play like if you don't save anyone. Maybe not even Torres at the beginning. I mean, does the game cut itself extremely short because you don't have someone to help you out? I I don't know, but I think I might be playing this again and making all the wrong choices and, and seeing where it gets me. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be doing that on the channel. Nevertheless, really hope you enjoyed this one. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, as I said, and I'll see you in another one very soon. This box wasn't here before, was it? Better show this to everyone. Box? There's a box? Oh, apparently there's a box, okay. <laughs> I'm the only one who hasn't been gassed or injected or flesh walled. <laughs> I'm not dead! I'm not dead, okay. Oh, shit. What? Someone's hitting the bottle a little heavy. Good. I hope wherever they are, they choke on it. <laughs> At this point, definitely. I've managed to get it open. <laughs> What's he doing slinking around the corner? I wouldn't want to get out of here, leaving someone behind. Wait, what? I don't think we've used that one either. Oh. Yes, yes, trial and error. Oh! Yeah, don't lean too far forward. 
I've kept you alive thus far. Let's keep it that way. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Get ready, me. One axe base deuce ex machina coming up. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, God. Holy shit. You could have fled. Yet you came to us to complete the ritual. And I'm regretting it. <laughs> I hope you choke on me. Oh. Oh! Alex spearing the demon. 